Hey guys, we will continue. So we did a whole booster box of packs and it's very similar. You're never gonna get too much value, but this is all the valuable stuff we got. Uh, definitely the foils were very, very good. And yes, that's the one difference between these packs and a regular pack or two regular packs is the fact that you will more, more likely get a good foil. So this one is pretty good. It is a land, a common, and I get a ton of this card. So whenever you open a land, it is pretty good for a pack. I have not gotten a double land pack yet, but I mean, we can always hope. Oh, here's another land. Looks like a lot of land in this particular one. And just such random stuff. I think that's what makes this a lot of fun is you don't know what card you're going to get. I mean, it could literally be any card in standard, right? So let's take a look. And Dark Inspiration. Wow, you can even get a Plains. So I did not know that the foil card could be a land. It literally could be any card. Uh, and let's go over what we got. I think this one, the Boros Land, is quite valuable, or it's more valuable than the rest of the cards here. We have uh, foils. You will get a ton of foils. I do like that because that means you can't really weigh the pack. I think that's what they did. That's why they did it was so you could not weigh the pack. And we'll add to here. It makes a lot of sense. You don't want someone weighing the packs of this and then getting all the foil packs. So we have that particular batch was not great. But again, all most booster boxes are going to be like this. You're not going to have too many amazing booster boxes. So let's go ahead and let's open another batch and then we have six more packs left. No expedition, so it's not like expeditions are in every single pack. It's actually quite uncommon to get a card of value. I do feel like it's worse than a regular pack in terms of the quality of the rares and the non-foils, but the foils are very, very good. It almost reminds me of a pre-release pack where you're guaranteed a foil card as a bonus. It's kind of like this, except the foil card in this case is not necessarily a rare or a mythic. Anyway, bye guys.